Permanent. So, as a lad who wants to figure out the voice voicewires of an arch, I was speaking to him last night and I said I could explain all the rest of it, but instead I thought I'd do a video and then obviously it might help others. So, initially, uh, the arch the arch that he's doing, it's a metre door with an arch on top. So we know that this, the, the centre of the arch, uh, the radius, is 500. And then we know it's a 215 brick, which is the extra DOS intra DOS. Yeah, so initially, I'm going to do the extra DOS line simply because obviously, if you've got a brick and it's seven, uh, 70 mil imperial brick, that is your limitation for the, the maximum size of your voiceware. So, obviously, with a semicircular arch, you need a key brick. So, therefore, you need to work out your extra DOS so that you can work out an odd number in the whole semicircle and also work out what your maximum brick size is and then you can work back from there so that's what we're going to do so this is the extra loss line so that's your extra loss line yeah, yeah. now <coughs> sorry <coughs> right now the sum the formula to work out your overall uh, radius is pi d, yeah? So, pi d. So your diameter, you know, is your 500 and then your 215 brick, which I showed you on the back. So 500 and 500 is a meter, 215, 215 is 430. So all told, it's 1430. So the sum we have to do is pi times 14.30, yeah? yeah? So you've got 14.30 and pi, which is 3.14, which we can use. I mean, it's a lot longer number, but for what this is, that is close enough. I mean, you're talking hundreds of a millimetre, so you don't need to worry about any further numbers. So as I said previously, if you use 3.14 as pi, you don't need all the other places. There's about eight other numbers after, but you don't need none of them. And then you times that by your 1430 because you've got your two bricks and your meter diameter. And then you divide it by two because you've only got a semicircle. And then you've got to make an educated guess. You know you need an odd number, and I knew it was going to be high in the 20, so I went 29 and I got lucky. But if you wanted to be sure, you could go 31 and have it slightly smaller. Uh, yeah. So, from what you saw with the, the screen uh, <coughs> recording of the calculator, uh, we found out that it was 77. This is with a joint, so you need to take a joint off. You've got to bear that in mind. Now, for me, you know, pretty standard, it's a 10 mil joint. But the thing is with this, if you're cutting them with a disc cut or even cutting them on a bench saw or whatever you're cutting them with, there's going to be a little bit of error. Now, if you set the joint at 10 mil, so for argument's sake, it's 77 and you take 10 mil off, so you're cutting them at 67. If you cut them small, your joints are going to be big. So what I would suggest is maybe have the joint smaller, 7 mil for ease on here, because that will give you a, a 70 mil voice wire. At, you know, in the extra DOS. I haven't worked out the intra DOS yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the intra DOS line and then from our center point, you can just run a line to the extra DOS and wherever our intra DOS line is, that will be the, the thickness of the voice wire for there. And then you'll have your voice wire size. And that will also give you how to, to work out the, um, the uh, gauging. So now what I'm doing is I'm marking the intrados. So in essence, this would be your arch former size. I've done the extra dos so you've got your maximum size of your voice wire at the very largest point. Now I'm putting the intrados, and from that line there to our centre line, that will cut that line, and that'll be what your minimum uh, minimum part of the voice wire is, which is your intrados. Yeah, and then. What this will give you is your gauge for your arch former. Yeah? Yeah. So we just need to put a string on a string on a screw. Now just to be clear, I'm only using a marker pen 
just so it's clear on the video, don't use a marker pen, use a pencil. I could use a pencil, but you wouldn't see it. I'm gonna use a pencil and then Lewis can tell me if you can see it on there. Can you see that? Clearly? Uh, sort of. It's probably just better using a marker, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's what I mean, but I don't want people using markers because there's about two million discrepancies in just the thickness of the bloody um, line it leaves, you know? Now, in theory, just, I've done four, I've done four of them and we can check that. And if they all pan out the same, you know you're right. You don't have to do the old thing because yeah. you know that's the gauge. And that's showing me it's 55, 55, 55, 55. So we know now that without taking the joint away, we've got 55. So we've got 77 on the extra extra dos, we've got 55 in the intra dos. You're gonna take seven mil away to make it easy, say 70 mil, your inside one will be 48. So in essence, your voissoir is 70 down to 48 into the internal. Yeah? yeah. So what I'm gonna do, just for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna put dots on there, like I say, just with this marker pen so you can see it. And I'm just gonna line them through just again so you can see it. But you've got to allow a joint. So say for argument's sake, you take seven mil off. That's your, that is your brick size, 48 by 70, allowing a seven mil joint. Yeah? yeah. And then that will mean is, if you went 55s, 55s all the way round your arch former, which you could do by just carrying on what I started, that would work out your gauge in the intrados. So I'll write it in pen so you can see it. This is the intrados. This is the extrados. And I've worked out the outside first so that we have a maximum size. Yeah? Is that so now if you were if you'd done all this hard work and you know you only need the internal part for your arch former, you could now just cut that out and use that as a jig. So if you cut that out, you could then put that on the brick to scribe your brick to cut each one. So your homework's not wasted at all because you'd have a template. It'd make life a lot easier.